okay, we know what the problem is. And, you know, like Julia said, we need to be educated. And we're getting that from people like Paul writing your books and Julia. It's beautiful. Now the question is, how do we get out of this mess? And that's what the devotion to the Holy Face is all about, is it gives us step by step by step, like we're little children. And God's telling us, this is how you do it, my little children. This is how you're going to get out of this mess. So it's contingent on us getting on our knees and making prayers like the golden arrow prayer, which is like shooting an arrow to wound the bosom of the heart of our Father in heaven, to wound the sacred heart so that the mercies will come out. So the key to the devotion to the Holy Face is asking God to fight this war for us against the revolution, against the communism, the Gaul Mafia, against the Freemasons, and against all these isms. And what these guys do, they name their revolution for whatever is going to be most appealing to their propaganda at the time. So they keep changing the name, but it's a, it's a revolutionary group. And at the same time, God's the one that's sending us this punishment. So if we do what he says, he's going to be the one that's going to start fighting the war for us, like uh, King Joseph's men did in, singing in the vanguard. It's just beautiful. If you read uh, 2 Parapolinia, uh chapter 20, the enemy of Israel is so outnumbered, and they start turning on each other because men are singing the Psalms of David. How beautiful that is. And it's... For example, the canons, secular, they're in Europe, but we have none in the United States. What they are, are bishops and priests going to cathedrals and chanting the divine office in the sea of each diocese. They don't exist in the United States because at the third plenary council of Baltimore, the bishops of the United States did not want to have them. So we don't have the church in its full splendor. And one of the devotions to the Holy Face is the Holy Face Chaplet, and its chief aim is for the triumph of the Holy Catholic Church. So it goes hand in hand with Our Lady Fatima, who she asks us to pray the Holy Rosary for the triumph of her Immaculate Heart. So imagine these two triumphs happening. So this is how we get out of this mess, is by getting on our knees.